What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. I'm going to be talking about the Crash Bandicoot Remasters, the Insane Trilogy. Now I know the gameplay trailer for this was revealed quite a while ago, but I figured I'd wait until I had my final thoughts on the thing sorted out, because I don't I didn't want to make like a rushed video like if I found something wonky it might have been like, oh this is terrible, no, I I didn't want to <laughs> be like that. I wanted to make sure I saw everything. I could possibly see at the moment. I want to make sure my thoughts are sorted out and everything so I don't make a terrible video like Square Eye Jack. Ugh, that was terrible. Like, right after the trailer came out, he made a video called Is Crash Insane Trilogy Bad? That clickbaity title. And then he's like, This doesn't look like Crash. It looks like Skyland. It's, it was really bad. And then he got all whiny and then butthurt that everyone was angry at him. Even though they had every right to be. He was just being clickbaity and angry and... Yeah, but enough about him. Um, my thought about the remasters, I think they look really, really good. Like, at my initial thoughts, there were some angles that they showed Crash at where he looked kind of wonky, but then I remembered, one, this is still early in development, and two, um, we're not supposed to see Crash at the angle. They just have the camera, like, modded to see in front of him for the trailer. So we're not even going to see him at that angle. And when he's when the camera's at the right angle and he turns around, he looks perfectly fine. So, And the Crash... The angles in Crash games aren't movable. They're like straightforward locked cameras locked in the hallway. So we won't have to deal with seeing wonky Crash. Crash will look 100% fine 100% of the time, which is really good. And the environments also look really amazing as well. They really got the geometry right. The lighting's a little off, but that's not a major complaint. I still love the way the levels look. They all look amazing. It's awesome to see all these levels just revamped. So I think Activision did a very good job with making it look like Crash. And I've seen a lot of the gameplay videos, and he just looks to move super smoothly, just like the in, uh, just like in the original. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I'm too excited. He seems to move smoothly, smooth, smooth. <laughs> he seems to move smoothly and precise, just like the original trilogy. And I'm super excited about that. It looks like it's gonna look like the original. It looks like it's going to feel like the originals. So. I'm excited, and we only got to see footage from the first game, too, so I can't wait to see what everything looks like later on. I wonder what the entropy battle will be like in Crash Warped. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Oh, now I'm fantasizing. <clears throat> but anyways, they've added some new features as well, like Crash Bandicoot 1 now has a normal save feature. Thank you. And Crash 1 and 2 will both have time trials and relics and all that. I wonder if they're going to modify the warp room in Crash 2 to fit relic spaces in there. Like he tosses them up and then they go up into the little top thing. Like above they had slot for crystals and gems but there weren't relics before. I wonder if they'll modify the warp room to add relics. Or if they can only be seen in the menu only. That'll be kind of distracting because then you won't know which level you got a relic from. But yeah, it's cool to see that they're bringing in the best parts of the newer games and bringing them back to the older games to make them just as good, like time trials and saving features that work properly. So I'm really excited to see what they can do. Um, and it's only $40, too. It's pretty cheap. I mean, the Crash games are pretty short. Like, they're only 25 levels each. So I can understand why it's the cheap price, because the games are very short. It probably doesn't take... I mean, I'm sure it takes a lot to get it to feel like the originals, but as a game overall, it probably wouldn't take that long just to make a PS1 game with 25 levels. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just excited to see how everything turns out, and I hope I hope there's more extra stuff too. Like, I want to see de developer levels. Like, we know Activision is remaking all the levels from the original trilogy, but I want to see what they can come up with there on the come up with on their own like maybe if you complete certain challenges you can unlock bonus levels that are separate from the original trilogy or maybe there will be like dlc levels or something that would be really cool to see just to see what they could do on their own we could get some new level themes too like maybe one where crash is shrunk down or something and he's like running across kitchen counters and jumping over knives and stuff like that that would be a cool idea so yeah I just hope we really get to see all kinds of new ideas brought into this as well that fit with the original trilogy and don't ruin it. No Titans, please. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about these remasters. They look like the originals. They look like they feel like the originals. And they have every, they have, they've already got some stuff that's making the originals even better. Like time trials and save features. Okay, enough rambling. Oh, I'm all shaky. 
I'm, I'm excited. Crash!